from home, but a young man from Africa is eager to experience life in a whole new way in Sault Ste. Marie. CTV Serene Wirasinga reports on a first for Sioux College and a student who's eager to learn. Growing up in Kenya, Bior Garang dreamed of getting an education in North America. And with Canada's refugee student program, it's now finally come true for him. Um, very happy. Yeah, it's a nice country and uh, I've, never to, I've never been to such a place. I enjoy it good weather, good people around. Here, the list of eligible refugee students for the World University Service of Canada scholarships is cut from 200 down to 18. Bior was one of them and has become the first such student at Sioux College. And it's been an adjustment. Of course, way back, I, I was not cooking. It's uh, a kind of uh, a crime if a male or a man like me cook while he has a sister. So. It, I didn't know how to cook, or I don't know how to cook at the moment, and they make it easier by giving me a meal plan. Students at Sioux College did their part as well. They held various fundraisers to help reach the $25,000 to have Bior here. Uh, definitely worth it. I mean, you're changing somebody's life, whether they want to stay in Canada when they're done or go back home and change their community. It's a great opportunity for everybody. Because he is so far away from everyone he loves, a local family brought Bior into their home as his host family. I had cooked his, his, his uh, country's um, food. I had went on Google and Googled everything. In the airport, she welcomed me. And uh, home, I enjoyed everything. Um, I, I called her my mom, and she called me uh, uh, Sam. Settling into his new life and studying civil engineering, Bjorn doesn't plan on leaving anytime soon. Planning also work with the Sioux and Maria engineers in time so after I finish my studies. So this is my home. Bior has experienced quite the culture shock already. Apparently the idea of a fridge and microwave is brand new to him and back home in Kenya 24 degrees Celsius is considered cold. We can only imagine what he'll experience when the snow hits, which he says he's only read about in books. Serene Weirsing at CTV News, Sault Ste. Marie.